So we're now heat of the Club 8, the Thames Challenge Cup. And uh, we have, would you believe it, Thames Rowing Club on the right of your screen. The London Club are on the box station. And Uda and Gemeinschaft Mülheim Ruhr, Deutschland from Germany on the left. That's a great start by the Thames crew. Out the blocks, nice and clean, nice straight line, no runner on. And that's the sort of thing you want from your coach. He's done that perfectly well. Yeah, brilliant line. And we've seen a lot of those crews uh, veer over towards the left of your picture, but none of that from the Thames coxswain, Connie Pidu, has just managed to steer a great line. And Thames had that handy campus lead coming up yeah, as they sort of head to the end of the first minute of this race. Thames Rowing Club, of course, coached by Ben Lewis, used to be at Molsey. I think he's a uh, happy bunny now at Thames Rowing Club, but uh, still eludes them, the big win at Henley, and will this be their year mark? Yeah, they've had some fantastic results. They had four crews actually make it into this event, which is a huge step on for any club. You know, Ben's done a fantastic job, and for me, this is one of the best shots. This is what I've been looking forward to for the whole regatta, is a drone shot from the air. You know, th these pictures are just, fa you know, incredible. You know, as an athlete, I would have loved to have been able to race at the regatta and have a shot like this as we came down the crew. For an athlete, you can look at the arcs of the blades and the crew. Are they going in the right position? The smoothness of the crews, and you know, that is just, it's poetry watching that, to be honest. It is. It's amazing. If you're new to a sport, you can see the movement of the rowers. I know the overhead camera at the Olympics. I think this is a better shot than that. People were surprised to see how much the rowers moved in the boat and used their legs. And Look, the drone's flying with them. It's so exciting. I can't, I've never commentated on pictures like this before, and I'm absolutely pumped, as you say. Thames Rowing Club in the lead from the drone on the left of your screen. Behind them, it's the Germans on Mulheim Ruhr, and they're in the wake of the Ben Lewis coach, Thames Rowing Club. As we're looking at their arcs, what do we make of that, uh, Mark? Yeah, obviously, they've got the kind of bucket rig, sort of uh, the kind of stern end of the boat, which is slightly different. Um, you know, that's become a more fashionable thing, I'd say, row, and I'm not sure, you know, it always works to the crew's advantage, but obviously Thames are in front, so it's working for them. Um, the first time I ever saw that was a Canadian crew do it a couple of years, well, about eight years ago, and then it seemed to be a thing that everybody's kind of latched onto. Um, but, you know, you can get some good indication of the arcs and if that's working, and also you can get a, a good view of the steering as well because you can see the trail of water that the crew leaves behind them, and you can see if they're keeping a straight line or not from that drone shot. So, uh, let's give a, a check through to the Thames crew. Uh, facing us, we've got uh, Connie Pidu, the Cox, then uh, Tony Lester at stroke, Simon Challen behind him with the white hat, Tom Jeffrey, the big man in the six seat, James Padmore, Chris Moran, James Palmer, Richard Dyer, and uh, Jonathan Bale in the bows. And uh, got a very comfortable yeah. second half. Yeah, and these, you know, Thames have been in this position before, going through the regatta, you know, they've been finalists once in 2012, they've been semi-finalists the last two years in this event, you know, they're, they're that crew that needs to win it at some point, they're so close but so far, but this could be their opportunity this year. Listen, I've just had a, a tweet from uh, Eric Murray, uh, the uh, bowman from the amazing Kiwi pair, who's over here to race in the Lucerne regatta, Kiwi pair have come late to uh, Europe this year, missed World Cup too, but uh, Eric said, great coverage, by the way, awesome to watch, thumbs up, smiley face, and uh, Eric, you're one of the great ambassadors for the sport of Rome, particularly on social media, and uh, you, like us, are enjoying these amazing TV shots, which are, are bringing the sport we love to people around the world. And, uh, and, and that's what it's about, it's about opening up the sport to people that necessarily wouldn't watch it, getting involved in it, understand a bit more about it, and just becoming excited by the sport. And, you know, it's a shame the guys aren't here. You know, if they were over it, you know, I'm sure they would love to have these shots of the drone. I'm sure they're a bit jealous now, but obviously their focus is on Lucerne, obviously the qualification, and another world title because they are the standout crew in our sport at the moment. Absolutely. So we're looking at the men from Thames Rowing Club progress serenely, I think we'll call that. Uh, they got an early lead and uh, they have really dominated this race. Uh, they will have bigger things on their mind because tomorrow they will go through to race the winners of the heat between University Barge Club USA, who are a stonking crew. I saw them yesterday, Mark, and, you know, mature, experienced, powerful. And... Uh, British Crew Sport Imperial Boat Club, they've got a tough ass. So Ben Lewis, 
you know, I was talking to him yesterday, he said, you know, Barge Club looked great, and I see you nodding your head there. Yeah, I, I think they're a crew that people weren't necessarily expecting, um, and they've come out and just shown the speed they have, and what's good for Thames in this is they've got a nice opportunity to relax, they haven't ex you know, used too much energy in this particular race, that they can start thinking about tomorrow relaxing. And they just hope that the other the other race that's going to, you know, the winner of that that comes to them have a kind of a gut buster, which is the kind of race to the line, let, you know, kind of giving everything. So, you know, you can't do that many finals in three days. It's back to back racing. So they'll be hoping that the next race after them will be a gut buster. They will. And I bet it will, actually. And um, which is good news for Thames. I mean, I have to say, I would love Thames to see Thames Ryan Club win the Thames after so many years of trying. And uh, there, I've said it. I'm not sure I should, but there we go. Um, sentiments. The hearts won over the head. That's always says happy. You want, you want them to win it. They need to win it. <laughs> they do. Thames Ryan Club win that uh, heat of the Thames Challenge Cup against the Germans from Milheim in the Ruhr. It was an easy row.